Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Weekend Cooking with Dago and Hannah. Uh, we're just a working couple with basic food skills. And a quarter basic kitchen because it's super small. And we're here to show you that with any recipe, a heat source, and enough determination, you can make anything. Any meal, any dish, as long as you're hungry enough. You will survive. So for today's episode, we're starting with something very simple. It's called arroz con leche. Translated, it just means it's rice with milk. Okay, so let's get started. Yay! <laughs> So for the ingredients, we have, uh, we need one half cup of arborio rice or any round grain rice that you can find. For this one, this is um, a box of arborio rice that you can find in the Italian section of any supermarket. We need one and a half cups of water. Everybody knows what water looks like, so <laughs> it's not presented here right now. You'll need one cinnamon stick, looks like this. You need four cups of milk. Half a cup of sugar. I'm so out of it. Can't see. One teaspoon grated lemon peel. And one teaspoon a of teaspoon vanilla. Of vanilla extract. Vanilla extract. <laughs> and um, nutmeg and cinnamon for uh, garnish. So the, we have the rice and the water and the cinnamon stick here and it's been... Um, 5 minutes. Uh, we brought it to a boil over medium heat. We're gonna lower it down to low heat and cover for maybe 15 minutes or until the water is fully absorbed. So right now we have around like an inch of water here. So just cover that. Check back after 15 minutes, roughly one episode of Love Death Robots. That's true. About <laughs> that long. Okay, so all the liquid has been absorbed, well, most of it, and it's only begun to stick at the bottom of the pan. So we are taking it out of the heat yes. and proceeding to step two. Mm -hmm. Sugar. Yes, please. So this is one cup of four cups of milk, right? Yep. Okay, so one. So this is four. We finished like three fourths of the whole thing. Four. What else? Low? Medium. Medium. Okay. Uh, so, so we have all of our we have our milk, what else? Sugar and, and vanilla. vanilla extra. It's it's simmering. Simmering? Yeah, this is so considered simmering yeah, already? Yeah, that's considered simmering. Okay. So there are like tiny bubbles breaking the surface in rapid succession, but not like it's not a total boil. Okay, so for noobs <laughs> like me, this is simmering, guys. <laughs> and we're gonna do the thing. Mm -hmm. We're gonna mix the rice mixture in. Uh oh, it's a little sticky. You can use the bigger one, like the black one with more scraping. Okay. We use the black one with more scraping power. Yeah. So arroz con leche, I first had this um, two weeks ago. I was on a trip to somewhere in Latin America, and I was just walking around in the mall looking for a gelato of all things, and I found this stall. I forgot the name, but they served this, and I was like, "What oh, rice for dessert?" <coughs> And they had this, but in a lot of different flavors. They had it in eggnog. Eggnog? Eggnog. They had eggnog flavored arroz con leche. I know, I know. 
And it's not that far fetched, I think, because like here in the Philippines we have uh, kanin or other sticky rice desserts. We have champorado. Champorado. What are we doing now? We are gonna cook it for 45 minutes. 45? Sorry, <laughs> where was I? It smells really good! Mm -hmm. Is that broken cinnamon stick? I think. Okay, that's right. Like cinnamon bark? Cinnamon bark. It's alright, we'll make it work. Cover this though. Um, covered? Yeah. They say covered. Maybe? Yes? Maybe? Is this a good compromise? <laughs> uh, why I, are we covering it? I don't know! Okay. Okay. So, 45 minutes. That's an episode of Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so this is a preview of how thick uh, it's gotten from milk consistency to something like um, oatmeal and we are in for like what 30 minutes 35 35 minutes okay yeah you're sort of winging it yep <laughs> and we'll see ah, we'll see <laughs> how it goes so we are done with the for uh, we didn't even finish like 45 minutes because it got to the consistency that we are looking for which is porridgey and it's gonna thicken further when we cool it down um, and we are just now going to remove the cinnamon stick goodbye cinnamon stick thank you for your help in making this yummy yummy dessert Mm -hmm. Lemon zest. Mm -hmm. no. Just mix it in. Okay. And then we're gonna put it uh, in a big bowl and put plastic wrap on after. Okay. <clears throat> it smells so good. I know. That lemon peel really brings a nice uh, citrusy smell. We've been having cinnamon smell earlier, and now there's a new dimension. What? There's what? a new dimension of uh, smell. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we are transferring it to another bowl. Now that we have the mixture in the bowl, we just need to cover it with cling wrap. Okay, okay, wait. You have to make sure that the cling wrap um, touches the surface of the food. What? You have to make sure that the, make it sag a little bit so oh. that it sort of covers the, the surface of the food. That way it doesn't create a film. Oh. Like okay. when it cools down, the food doesn't create this like film. Just make sure that... So it sort of needs a bit. Yeah. So right here. You need help. And then stick it in to the fridge. And leave it for like a minimum of three hours to chill or overnight. See you tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, let's see what we've got. Serve this up in some plates and give it a taste. Okay. So Hi. We left our arroz con leche overnight in the ref, and this is how it turned out. It's got a really nice, thick and creamy consistency. At least it looks that way. It's a bit chunky to me. It looks a bit, a bit chunky, chunky, but this can be. I think you can um, fix this if you just remove it from the heat a lot, a bit sooner than we did, so yeah. yeah. You just have to keep an eye out when it's at the thickness that you want. Oh, I tried to do a little bit already, yeah, it's really good. <laughs> okay, okay. <clears throat> mm. Yeah. That's a nice, um, 
texture of rice. It's probably got to do with the uh, arborio rice. Really strong lemon flavor. And so me. I like. <laughs> Which you like. Mm. If you don't like it, if you don't like that lemon flavor, uh, you can for well, you can put just a little bit or forgo it totally. And he disagrees with me here. No. Oh, yeah, he disagrees with me here. But maybe, if you maybe use half or something. If, if okay, half. <laughs> so there's a bit. So there's a zing to your dish, you know. So yeah, it's really good. Uh, you mm -hmm. can put, uh, aside from uh, that tip, you can also put in nutmeg. And more cinnamon. More or, more cinnamon. or more cinnamon. Uh, on top of it, uh, mm -hmm. as you serve it as a garnish. Mm -hmm. I bet it would taste really good, but you're not putting that right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Instead, we are adding... Ta-da! She bought a lot of frosties. I bought a lot of frosties and I need a place to dump. <coughs> and this seems like a good place to dump. Da, 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 da. The texture should be really a nice, nice contrast. Yeah, mm. I like it. Like there's a crunch and there's a lemony mm. thingy and milk. It's really good. It's really, really good. We should use pretzels. What? You should use pretzels for pretzels? the Pretzels? Yeah. Like tiny, teeny? Maybe. Yeah. Pretzels? Ooh, yeah, those, that would be good. Those saltiness would be a nice. Further contrast. Mm. We'll get pretzels next time. This is definitely something um, you can do again, or we will do again, yeah, because it's so it. easy to make. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You just leave it on the stove, like, mix it up, and you're good to go. Okay. So, okay. give this recipe a try. I know it sounds weird, but it's really, really good. This is a dessert. Right. Yeah. It's like Mexican rice pudding. So, this is a dessert. You're just having it first. It's Mexican? Yeah, it's Mexican. Alright. Or it's Latin American. Okay. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a different. It's, yeah. it's one of those countries. Yeah. Mm. Viva la raza. What does that mean? Long live the race of Latin America. Okay. In play. <clears throat> Viva the <laughs> Really good. Okay. Good job, you. Good job. <laughs> okay. okay. So and that has been weekend cooking with Dago and Hannah. Don't forget to follow Hannah's IG page for some online poetry, hstauto.writes on IG. And if you like movies and would like spoiler-free reviews, follow Dago's page also it's Dago Student Movies. Bye bye! bye. It definitely looks like something that we can make again because it's so easy and the ingredients are easy to get come back to. The ingredients are easy to get come back to.